Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and today I got blue contacts on. I got my Pinocchio hat and a Pinocchio outfit on, and that is because if you haven't figured it out, we're doing a Pinocchio makeup transformation. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm gonna stop rambling, and we are going to get started and do everything. I have no foundation, I have no brows, I got, I got nothing. I just woke up, so let's do this. Starting off with my base, I am going in with a foundation that matches my skin color and blending it down my neck, by my ears, hairline, everywhere, making sure it's not mask-like. Going in with a concealer next and using the warmth of my fingertips to blend it out. And then since everything was matte, I used the setting spray to set it all in. For my brows, I did something a little different from Pinocchio. Since Pinocchio is a child, I went with a bolder, thicker brow. This gives you a more child, more innocent-like appearance. So I'm going ham in the brows right now. They are gonna be so thick, so beautiful, and bold. And then I'm going in with a spoolie and concealer to kind of just fix up what I didn't like about them. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. Pinocchio doesn't really have eyeshadow, but I just want to sass him up a little. Going in with a neutral medium brown, just putting that in my crease and that's about it. Adding white to the waterline to give me a more doll-eyed Disney effect. Under the white, I'm going in with a light brown to give me a bigger eye look. And now I'm gonna go crazy with the blush. He has super blushed cheeks and even a blushed nose. So going in with a really hot pink blush and going everywhere. Contouring my nose just a little bit, not too crazy, but he does have a different nose than me, so decided to contour it a bit. And last but not least, I'm going in with a lipstick, dabbing it on, just to give me a little more of a flushed lip. So this is the end of the beauty portion of Pinocchio, super simple. Now we're gonna go into something a little different from the Disney movie. In the Disney movie, he didn't really have this like wooden structure to his face. He had it on his arms and on his legs, but not his face. So I'm gonna be going off of the Pinocchio from Once Upon a Time. He was CGI, what I'm aiming for to have that wooden structure all over. And also the Pinocchio nose. So I'm gonna be showing you how to get this Pinocchio nose right now. So I am using molding clay here and a face sculpture of my actual face and I am just building up the clay. I found a completely easier way. I ended up sacrificing a brush wand, took the brush wand, put it on top of the molding clay and then started sculpting from there. So ignore all the steps of me just piling clay on top of each other. In the end I ended up scrapping that and used the brush wand. So like I said, I used the brush wand and now I'm taking some isopropyl Meristate, which is a good latex remover. And I'm putting that all over the clay. And now taking liquid latex, I am going to be layering this like crazy. And I'm going to be laying it dry and keep on layering. So I did about 10 to 12 layers of liquid latex. To make the liquid latex dry a little faster, I used the blow dryer to help speed it up a bit. And I did let this sit overnight. Once it finished, I will take a powder. This powder has some color, use whatever you want. And I will slowly remove it, powdering underneath to make sure it doesn't get stuck to it because liquid latex gets stuck to liquid latex very easily. Now I'm doing the bark texture. And what I did was I put more isopropyl on this tray with liquid latex, took a blow dryer, started blowing it around, and took a toothpick and started making just markings on it. And that is all you need for the prosthetics, liquid latex, basically. Now to start the application off, I will be marking where I want my mouth to be so I don't cover that up with the prosthetic. 
and now I'm going to be applying adhesive on my nose and inside of my prosthetic and then applying it to my nose. Let the adhesive become tacky first before applying. Once you apply, just hold it for a little bit and it should stick on. I'm going to be painting the tip of the nose brown to give it a more wood-like structure and then ombreing it out to a skin-like color. Now it's time for the application for the bark. I'm just gonna give you guys a couple of warnings for the application. Depending on what adhesive you are using, it's not hair friendly, so use Vaseline on your hair to make sure it doesn't tug or pull on your hair. When applying adhesive close to your eyes, be careful because some of them do burn. So always be careful, make sure you're not allergic to anything before using any special effects makeup. So taking the foundation that I used in the beginning, I'm applying that all over the skin and setting it with a powder. The powder I'm using does have color in it. And now I'm doing the real Pinocchio eyebrows, which is basically like two frowny faces. And I do clean them up like I do for my beauty makeup too. Now I'm outlining that mouth where I left that space when I was applying the prosthetic to give me that more ventriloquisty mouth. And now I'm doing a bark wood like texture on top of the bark texture. So I'm using a brown water activated body paint. With a very light hand and a very tiny brush, I'm adding those wood detailing. Look at reference pictures for this part, it helped a ton. And then I blushed up the face and now I'm contouring my face using a brown eyeshadow. This will help darken up the wood in some of the areas. And for the finishing touch, I'm adding a little bird on the tip of my nose. Might as well flick your nose. So I'll give you a kiss up? No. He's so rude. Huh? I'm in the video. It's following me. Look, it recognizes me. No, it should recognize me. <laughs> it doesn't I'm real. Because I'm real. You ready, James? You ready? I've got no strings to hold me down To make me fret or make me fret I had strings but now I'm free There are no strings on me <laughs> My nose is attacked ah. It's not real! <laughs>